We're the huge movie fanatics, and uh, we, the camera should be shaking because we're about to review Paranormal 2. Um, well, uh, as we came from last time uh, we reviewed the Paranormal uh, movies, I, I gave the first one three and a half, which uh, I didn't when I initially saw it. But You had to take a little... Uh, I had to yeah. drop some Dramamine, <laughs> which is, like, legit, I'm, I'm maybe, honestly... Maybe if I dropped some Dramamine, I would like paranormal activity as well. I don't know. Uh, you have to do, take the non-drowsy Dramamine. Okay. Um, just to make, make sure you don't fall asleep, although you perhaps would like that. Um, and then he gave it zero stars. He broke his one-star rule to give it zero stars. So, um, Paranormal 2. Paranormal uh, Activity 2. Or Activity 2, yeah. It's all the same. Um, and <laughs> Paranormal 2 uh, is a unique take on a sequel. I like. I give the movie props for it being a sequel prequel kind of in a way, which is kind of unique. It entirely ruins the first movie in a lot of ways because uh, um, I don't know. It, it, a lot. <laughs> it's 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 going back about a, a year or two uh, since I've seen oh, this, so yeah. Um, yeah. it's hard to remember a lot of things, but I liked the idea of it being both a sequel and a prequel, and they'd flash up, like when you saw uh, the gentleman from the first movie, they were like, this is, what was his name, Nic Nicola, or something like that? This is Nicola, 63 days before he died. Oh, yeah. And things like that, where it's like, wow, that's kind of, that's kind of, uh, unsettling kind of yeah isn't it like, yeah like 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 amityville horror like yeah. the last night yeah it, it just <laughs> little touches like that i really liked yeah. and um the movie was a lot more stable than the first one which i kind of liked uh you could see things a lot better um uh but i mean it all, ultimately all, having this mythological backstory spoiler alert where uh it was actually uh, the the demon was intended for uh, the one sister, and then the husband put all of the the picture, the burnt picture and stuff, uh, in the house of uh, Katie from the first movie, and screwing it up. It kind of diminishes the impact that the first movie had, at least on me as a viewer who liked the first movie. Um, but it was creative and it was interesting, so I'm going to give the movie. Three stars. It has its problems, but I mean, I'm willing to overlook them this time. Uh, and I like the movie. Uh, what is uh, Nate's take on Paranormal Well, yeah, activity? first of all, you, you guys, if you've seen the Paranormal Activity review, are probably wondering why I even saw Paranormal Activity 2. And the reason being is I think I found it, and I found it for cheap, you know, just a number of, of dollars used. And I gotta admit, you know, it's it's the same thing with the saw back in the day, where it's the, I you know I don't have a problem buying it used because you know they're not getting my money the you know, that way because I don't really I don't want to I don't want to buy it new because I don't want to give then then you're supporting this yeah. shit that you don't like so I made make it very clear to buy it secondhand used so I don't give them any money um, but it was just this thing about God what can they possibly do and just like I gotta see this just just. You know, and that's the stupidest reason I want to see a movie. By the way, is is this is so stupid? I want to watch it. How you know? Isn't that I, funny? It, well, uh, that's sort of what got me. Like the first movie sort of <laughs> said enough. It's that's like, the reason where you are they going to go? Where are they going to go? Are we going to follow her for a while? But uh, <laughs> then, you know, I mean, you do a little bit. Yeah. You get a little touches of Katie fo being, uh, following it, especially at the climax. But um, uh, they went an interesting route by going backwards. Which was, uh, hadn't, I've never really seen that before, I guess. Yeah, well, well, same, I mean, well the prequel. So it's the same, very similar to the, pre, uh, the prequel, yeah, the prequel, to, prequel the remake of, yeah. of Texas Chainsaw, where yeah. there's no, you can't go any further. There's no fear at the end of the day because you know, well, those two are going to make it out okay until the next movie where they're dead. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah. So, uh, the one thing I liked it better, I'm going to break, I still have to break my one star rule, mm -hmm. and I'll go one half of a star for paranormal activity too. I liked it more because the thing I one of the one of the many things I hated about paranormal activity is the fact that it's just like the one camera and let's set it up in a room tonight, okay. You know, and then we'll we'll have breakfast you know, then we'll do this. Okay, it's nighttime, we'll set it up. It's just I don't know, it's just to me the first one was as boring as a, as any kind of quote unquote movie could get. The thing I liked about more than the first one about the second one is the is the multiple camera aspect mm -hmm. and also 
that makes it, in a weird way, it makes a found footage movie more cinematic because you have yeah. more than one camera angle. Yeah. And I did find that was more interesting. And if that had been the first one, well, I'd still give it a star, but that was more interesting to me. And it kicked it up. And it was like, because they did, they did a little too much, but they, they did this cool thing where it was like, they'd always show, they did it like five or six separate times where, where it was like at night, you know, where they show the pool, you know, mm -hmm. and the, the pool cleaner. Mm -hmm. I like that. And that's what I liked about it, because they took the, the found footage aspect and they, they, it, they, 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 they blended it with cinema. And mm -hmm. cinema is several different shots, combining mm -hmm. them or whatever, to make an impression. And that's what the multiple cameras did. And for that reason, I gave it half a star more than, uh, you know, the first one. And um, I also like, I thought there, it seemed like there were barely, what, did you see anyone else? They must have had talked with friends in the first one. Was it just them two, the whole movie? No, they, they talked with people in the first the one. Thing I, the, another thing I like more about the second is I think it was more of a family where they had a, did they have a dog? I think they had a yeah, daughter. Yeah, they had a daughter and, cool, and a dog. Yeah, and the cool thing about the, uh, the daughter was that there was a funny scene with like her boyfriend or something. Oh, yeah. And it was something that was actually funny. And he, he said some funny line about something sexual. I can't remember what it was, but it was it was more generally more interesting, and also the the prequel aspect I thought was 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 done in a competent way. Yeah, it was handled. Well. And like you said, I did think it was funny when the guy comes and you see the guy, and it's like what like you said, this is him. So, yeah, so many days before he died, that that was a nice thing to throw on there. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I, the the fact that they even brought back the both characters from the first movie I thought was nice. Like it didn't mean, it wasn't a meaningless sequel where it's just like, that's right. Uh, like the Saw movies sort of got to be later where they had name actors in movie one, somewhat name actors in movie two, a, a little bit in three, and by four it's like they're really stretching. <laughs> uh, wh which Wahlberg don't we have in the movie? <laughs> like, yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, the fact that they kept the characters from one, put them in two. That was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, so yeah, so that's so I, I I thought it was better in those aspects. So I'm going to go half a star. Um, still breaking my my one star rule, but but there you go. How do you feel about it being called Paranormal Activity Two? Because it wasn't really two. It's more like well, a one is point two. five. But well, it's a, yeah, <laughs> it's it's half of Paranormal Activity or something. Yeah. I feel fine with Before it. Before Paranormal Activity. I mean, you know, the, the reason you call it two is it's the second one that was made. Yeah. Even if it happened before the Because the, the, the third one. one takes place even further back. Isn't that ironic? Like, that, I, I want to see the fourth one. It's going to be like <laughs> fetal paranormal activity. Yeah, she's going to be <laughs> in the work. It's going to be a womb cam. <laughs> yeah, the womb cam. And then like her belly moves in <laughs> like a little bit and then it moves back out. <laughs> paranormal Activity 4 is just going to be like 90 minutes of ultrasound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you still get the I ambient noise. I bet you anything. That's what it's gonna be. That that is great. I will see. Uh, I, I gotta tell you that Paranormal Activity Two whetted my appetite, and I was this close to buying the bitch when it came out. But I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna do it, and I, I, I didn't. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna give Paramount any money for this shit. So I'll buy it secondhand if I can find it for you know cheap enough. I, let me know when you do. I'm, I'm happy to do a Paranormal uh, Three review. Okay, the, the, the one thing, you know, obviously, yeah, okay, we'll just leave it until then. I'm sure I will, so then we'll, we'll save it for then. Yes. Thanks for watching a Paranormal Activity 2 review, and we'll catch you later, and he says, peace.